Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to try and make kind of a cascading heart belly band. And I've kind of laid it out so that I can see maybe how many hearts I need, but I haven't done any more than that. And I don't know if it's going to, you know, appear the way I want it to appear, like it's kind of falling down the page. That's my goal. And I don't know if I have enough hearts. And we, I figured we would just find out. So I brought you along with me. So I'm working in the next signature right now of the, the um, Valentine or heart themed journal. And this is the page that's next to it. And I think that that looks nice together. And then we can put a big journaling card in the belly band so you're not losing all of your writing space. I've cut this out so that I can kind of glue to it. At first I had a larger one and so much of it showed um, where, you know, since the heart has all the curves and points and that sort of thing, um, I think it'll be easier to hide this skinny little band than the other. Okay, and I want to ink around them, but I want to ink them differently, you know, like some with vintage photo and some with the Victorian lace. So I'm, I waited. <laughs> Lucky you guys, I waited to do some inking. Um, be, just because I, I'm, I'm not sure which ones, if you know what I mean. I don't know which ones are going to be what color. I've made my belly band base shorter than the page so that I can hide it without too much of the heart having to hang off the page either way. And I just took a bunch of the different um, pages that I've been using for the different things that I've been making uh, to cut my hearts out. I don't use hearts very often in my journals, and so um, I didn't realize it, but I have this heart punch also that I found at a, I'm sure, a thrift store. So that was lucky because it's much quicker to do that than to use the, the um, die cuts or whatever they're called. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing. And... I'm probably going to have to like just kind of tack them down and then once it's all together I can mess with it a little bit more. I think that's what I'm going to need to do. might even use, well, I don't know. I don't want to have too many of these things out and then I have to keep them separated, you know, so that I'm not mixing the colors. I'll end up just causing a problem if I have too many of them out at the same time, I think. Okay, I used my the um the Sizzix, this one, to cut out some lace hearts just for some layering. And I think I'm gonna do some hot glue. I got it right where I didn't want it, and you know it's stuck. Hold on just a second here. Yeah, I just goofed it up. Okay, so probably Fabri-Tec is going to be the better thing to do there. Remembering that I only have paper in the center of my heart.
I can see a little spot where I've um, a little bit of the the base is showing and I really don't want that so I'm gonna take a little bit of this I'm not quite sure what's the best but I'm just going to take it and kind of poke it in there. Can't get to my trash can. Okay. And I'm trying to have some on top, some on the bottom. I don't want it to look, the layering to look um, all the same. I want it to be kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but like staggered layering or something. I don't know. Um, I'm wondering about... A little bit of something poking out of there. Okay, I mean, it's not much, but it's, it's a little bit of interest. I think it's good. This might take a minute, you know, to get, to get this belly band done. We have a really, really sunny day today. I have to keep my blind closed right now or I wouldn't be able to see. You see what I just did there? I tried to blow away the stuff and I made a mess. Alrighty, so I want this one on top, so I'm going to have to put the other ones underneath first. And there's quite a few of them. Okay, I think I'll do... Um. You know, these things fall apart so easily. And, you know, you can obviously change them, um, the little foamy things. But they start falling apart again within a couple of days. And so I tend to not change them because of that. Um, but they make a little mess on top of your your work. And so I usually, when I'm not doing my work on camera, I will usually just move off to the side of my desk, you know. So any of it just falls on the floor and it rubs it right into my brown carpet. So who cares, you know? <laughs> um, but when I'm on camera, it's weird when I disappear, I think. So I, I get it everywhere. Let's see. 
no, I don't want any of that showing. Did I have it up like this? Maybe that's the way it was. Okay, so just ink this one. I'm thinking about some more little something coming out somewhere. The sun's making it really warm in my craft room, actually. Okay. I know it doesn't seem like much, but I can see it. Just a dab of my stuff that I keep forgetting to put the lid on so it's drying. That's not good. And I've got to get it off my fingers. I knew this would be a slow process. And I just knocked the camera, so let me check it. Yep, I just knocked you guys halfway across the room. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's really warm in here. Good grief. Okay, glue. Glue, glue, glue. I'm going to do some vintage photo on this one. There, I'm doing it again. Okay, what's next? I hate how the little strings of all the glues, you know, stick to you and move things around. I think I'm going to start kind of coming out a little ways. I, I don't know. They've got to start coming out a little bit at some point. That one's already over there. Is 
if I'm okay, if I put this hanging off the side too much, whatever I put in there is going to get caught on it really bad, and I don't want that. That's not bad. I'm just going to do this one and it's going to be kind of hanging off the side. I'm going to do vintage photo. I'm off to the side, guys. I'm just inking it up so it's not getting my paper dirty. This one's not all chewed up like that, so it's not causing a problem yet. I don't know. I, I um, don't have a lot of new information for you guys today. I don't know what to talk about. My son can't find his wallet again. So there's that. That's exciting information, isn't it? <laughs> Good grief. I haven't finished painting on the downstairs yet. Let's see. I need another heart back here, I think. Or I could just do it. Okay. Maybe I'll do it like that. It's so hard to pick up after you've put it down. to do something where was I gonna go with that like that perfect do it a lot of hearts and I need quite a few more. I had them all laid out, but I figured once I started um, gluing them, I figured it would be, you know, a problem and that I would run out. I had a feeling. Okay, I like that there. I'm just going to leave that laying there and do the glue on this. I think it's cute so far. Okay. I need more hearts. So I've got scraps over here that I'm cutting from. I don't 
don't have any of these. I can use one of these. So let's see here. Where did my punch go? Cute. I kind of got it right in the middle, didn't I? <laughs> I like that. Let's see, what other colors do I have in here? We could do another one of those. I've got some of that laying over here. Somewhere. Let me see that this scrap is good enough. a little bit more depth of color. Okay, not very many more, you guys. I think we'll do one of these down here. And I know this stuff's going to be hanging off, but I think that's okay because, you know, it's you're not going to need much um, room to poke things in. You know, I don't think that this lace is going to get in the way is what I'm trying to say. One more. One more. Let's see what I have here. I feel like I need to put some more lace underneath. I've got a bunch of little bits and pieces up here from when I cut the hearts out. this is taking a while and I'm not giving you guys anything interesting to listen to I'm sorry I don't know what to say today um I mean when you're not doing anything and you know crafting and doing laundry we finished watching Monk um uh, we haven't started anything new yet um my son's girlfriend got stuck in a ditch last night not exciting but you know it was a happening we were getting stuff ready to 
go and get her out, but then um, we got a phone call that somebody made it there before we did to help her, so it's kind of scary, you know. It's all dark outside, and the road that she was on is like a one of our back roads, you know, so not very traveled. So that's, I don't know, I mean, not a good feeling in my opinion. <laughs> I don't like the thought of that at all. So we were trying to get out there and my son's pickup needed gas and his is the one that, you know, would need to go to get the pulling done. So anyway, that was exciting for a few minutes last night. Oh, I have something. So my sister-in-law lives nearby and um you know we don't we don't talk real often so for her to call me on my cell phone at 11 30 last night really scared me I was like oh no what is going on you know one of those kinds of things and um so I'm in bed, you know, and I'm trying to get out of bed, but I'm half asleep, so I can't figure out how to get out of bed, which is ridiculous. I was trying to go the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, I get to my phone, and when I get there, it quits ringing, and, but I do see that it was her trying to call. So I immediately call her back, and... um there's an answer, but there's silence. And I'm, and I'm saying, you know, her name's Mary. And I'm like, Mary, 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 are you there? You know, and so I'm freaking out a little. Um, so I, I hang up the phone cause she doesn't answer. And as soon as I hang up the phone, it calls me again. And this time I answer it. Oh no, she didn't answer when I called her nothing. It just rang and rang and rang. And, um, so then I hung up the phone and my phone started ringing again and it was her number again. And, um, I'm thinking and, and talking at the same time. Sorry, you guys. Anyway, it, it, I answered when my phone started ringing again and no one was there. And I was like, something, she's butt dialing me. How is she doing that? She must have been, you know, sleeping with her phone near her. And um, I don't know, just kind of strange. So I went back to bed because I couldn't figure out. I was like, well, she'll call again if she's trying to call. So this morning I'm telling my husband that Mary called me and he said she called me too. And then we started worrying. And um, she, you know, she has to go to work in the morning. So we called her house phone. She still has a house phone because her she wasn't answering her cell phone. And she answered it and, and she's worried now because we're calling her at 6.30 in the morning. I feel like I want to cut the bottom of that off. I don't want it hanging down like that. That's cute. It's kind of cascading. It's cascading. <laughs> so she she's like, no, I didn't call. She had called me twice. She had called my husband Tim once. And um she's like, no, it totally wasn't I didn't call. So she starts looking at her um history. She pretty much called everyone in the family, um, you know, that has the same last name. It's like someone hacked her phone and they were calling all of us. But when they would get us, they wouldn't say anything. I'm looking for some lace here. Okay. 
okay, I don't know. cat's not happy with me. She's wanting in. She's like, let me in my room. Okay, I like that. And honestly, I think I'm just going to glue that directly to the page. So we don't know. She um, is going to have to call everybody and say, hey, that wasn't me because, you know, I'm sure she freaked everybody out during the middle of the night. Either that or, you know, people don't have their phones on and so they didn't realize it until this morning and they're trying to figure out why Mary was trying to call. Um, so who knows? And, you know, you always have to kind of assume the worst because all those scammers, you know, they're just rotten out there. Rotten scammers. You know what I did one time? <laughs> um, okay, so somebody that my husband knows had very recently been scammed and lost, I don't know, it, it was hundreds of dollars. I don't, I'm really pretty sure it wasn't thousands or if it was it wasn't very many thousands but either way not cool and it had just happened and it was one of those that you know everybody was getting that phone call and um so it was fresh I was freshly angry about it so I get the phone call and I was at Walmart and um okay I'm gonna glue that down so I answer the phone, and it was the, that particular scam that was going around at the time. And I let him talk for a minute, and I said, hey, you know, I'm not an idiot, and I know what you're trying to do. And they're like, you know, talking to me, like, trying to convince me that they're not a bad guy. And I was like, well, did you know you're going to burn in hell? I'm sorry, you guys. I know that's a judgmental and mean thing to say, but I was so ticked off. <laughs> Like, you're going to burn in hell. <laughs> they hung up on me. <laughs> and I know, I know I have no right to say something like that to anybody, but I was so mad. Okay. I want to put, um, you know, like some buttons here and there. I don't know how it would look, but I'm just gonna see like if I lay something down on there. That's cute. And then this is what I had taken off. It's stitched on there. It's got like a little edging that's still stitched on there. I think I got it. Okay. I'm going to open up the door so my cat can come in. Rotten kitty. Rotten kitty. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying, but I'm probably done with whatever it was. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the whole scammers thing, it's just, there's always going to be somebody. bright. I don't know if I like that up there at the top. I might end up cutting that off. Okay. 
This one's cute. It's funny. I I get um, these buttons in um, in jars at yard sales and things like that, and they're in order, you know, to me. It's like, well, that's how I bought them. They need to kind of stay that way. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, no, that one didn't come from that jar. It came from that jar. I'm just going to kind of just hang, let that hang out there. I, I like it. It's just, you know, okay, glue. And then I'm not quite sure how I like this one. I'm going to cut this edge off. I don't like that straight edge on it. It's also kind of folded over, so it's not easy. And then I'm going to cut them in half. I have some tiny, tiny little buttons I know somewhere in here, but of course they fall down to the bottom. I don't see a white one right now, and a white one is really what I'm looking for. I just heard a button fall. Did you guys hear it? There's probably a little one in here. Okay, we'll do that. It was somewhere there, I think. Um, glue's not all the way hardened up again. Okay. I have glue strings now going everywhere. Okay, so there is the belly band. And I will end up putting something in it. You know, got to make it. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It, oh, it's not... It's not... Did I not glue the bottom? Okay, hot glue. It's sticking now. Anyway... Something will go inside. I think it'll be cute once I get something made. I mean, I think it's cute now. And then it has a little stuff hanging out. I don't know if I like this. We'll see how I like it in the end. But there we go. The Cascading Heart Belly Band. All right. I know that was probably long and maybe a little dull to watch. So sorry about that. But thanks for watching. And I hope you're still here. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.